Good morning, how are you all doing? It's your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana baby, right here. It's a very busy morning in Ghana, stuck in traffic in Accra. I'm very late. I'm on my way to the German embassy, which means I'm going back to Germany tomorrow, but I don't have a visa. Can you believe it? My ticket is bought, my accommodation is booked, but I don't have a visa. This is actually, it's gonna be the third time I'm going to Europe in a year, which is crazy. But how am I gonna do this? I don't have a visa, but I still have to go to Europe tomorrow. So I'm on my way to the German embassy right now. Uh, this invitation was based on my last visit to Germany. It was uh, an invitation by the German government. I was the only YouTuber from Africa that was chosen. And uh, I think they, they really loved it. And um, they gave me another invitation to host a couple of incredible people doing an amazing thing across the world. The CEO of um, Mercedes-Benz, um, the owner of um, United Bank of Africa, UBA. I mean, there's an opportunity of meeting the Chancellor of Germany. Um, just incredible people, man. Incredible people. Like, I'm seeing the list and I can't believe that I was invited to do this so yeah it's from the german government there was no appointment you know there was no appointment uh for the german embassy and i've been told that i need to come uh i mean this was done by the ambassador the german ambassador to come this morning and it's seven o'clock and i'm still stuck in traffic i might be late because it's raining and at the same time there's traffic so the road will definitely gonna be busy but i just hope that uh i could i just hope that they will give me my visa for today so that i'll be able to fly out tomorrow so yeah um come along with me let's go to the embassy let's see what's gonna happen but if you're watching this video please like this video see i've been through a lot I've been through a lot man you guys have no idea I mean I've been away for a very long time not because I wanted to be away but life was dealing with me man life was dealing with me and I feel like one day I'll write a book I feel like one day I'll be able to tell a story that most of you did not know I feel like one day I'll be able to tell a story of behind the scenes of what Maya what I go through behind the scene but I still I still come out with incredible content without even most of you noticing what is really going on with what am I and that's why I'm saying that if you watch these videos please like it C -c can you just give me a like on this video I mean yeah thank you and don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel and um, yeah let's go oh my goodness can you guys believe it like I was going there with my PA this time around. I wanted to go there by myself because I don't want to be late. But guess what? I'm lost. Like the location that I put in the map took me to another, I think is the old German embassy. And I, I've been there before. I was like, this is not the place. Now I checked it, the new location. It's 24 minutes away. Ah. <sighs> traffic I don't know man there's, there's, there's so much traffic right now I'm, I'm literally stuck as I'm speaking to you guys um, I'm stuck I'm still 24 minutes away I don't know if you guys can see the traffic ahead of me Good evening. Ha! Ah, good evening. It's been a very, very busy day. I mean, if I say a very busy day, I was so busy that I couldn't even go for my own passport, knowing that I'm traveling today. So, thank God I, had, I have a PA. She went for the passport. And finally, I'm embarking on a trip. I got my visa in less than 24 hours. That's super crazy, man. Breaking my own records over and over again. But yeah, it's about time to head to Berlin. But hey, I just want to say something, man. 
this shirt that I'm wearing, I just got it. And I just decided to wear it because it was more like a gift from a subscriber. And because it's a gift from a subscriber, I need to let him know that I really appreciate it. That's why I have to wear this. It's This is not the only shirt. I think I got another shirt for Trudy and for myself. But he added a letter and I've not opened it. I'm here to open the letter. And then it's more like a card, right? So we're all gonna read together. So the front page of the card is saying that we are a lot alike. That's the front page, right? And when you open it, it's saying that no, we are not. No, we are not. And I like that a lot. Said the diaspora, Charlie, by Evolve. That's the name. You are official. You are officially now, Doctor Marcus Maya, honorary PhD for being honorable. <laughs> did, he, did she just call me Marcus Gavi? So it's not like instead of Marcus Gavi, she made it Marcus. Is it Marcus? No, Marcus Maya. So the M squared. That's interesting. I want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate this gift so much. That's why I'm doing this on camera to let you know that I've got it. I got it. And I really appreciate it. Thank you. It's time to continue the journey. I got my number one chief driver behind the scenes. I'm just going to leave her in Ghana. So if you're in Ghana, please just come and say hi to her. You want to say hi to the camera? Hi, guys. It's so focused, man. So focused, driving. But anyway, what is happening in Berlin? I'm just gonna tell you as time goes on, yeah. So, yeah, for now, I'm so late. Like I don't know why I always go to the airport late. But you guys should come along with me. God, I'm, I'm finally at the airport. It's so late, but uh, I just have to. What's up, man? <laughs> oh god I hope I don't miss my flight ha oh I thought it's the other side ah hi uh -uh. Was... sorry I'll be sorry. watching you every time thank you it's not good man Charlie did you enjoy the barbecue alone Charlie you're invited come thank you thank you see that man you're done with yours eh? yes please. so you're not gonna give me I'm so sorry <laughs> Nice to meet you. Thank you, man. Where did you go? I really like the go, Oh, I respect what you do. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Good to see you too. Say, say, say something to my girl. <laughs> Hi, this is your favorite annoying village boy right here from Second Lee. Oh, I don't know. Oh, Thank no, you. Oh, oh no, no, you're not recording. No. Oh, well, I'm not good. I'm not no, as it's good okay. as you. Okay. It's okay. Let's I understand. I understand. Uh, this is your favorite village where Mr. Gado Baby right here, or the Maya in the building, and. Uh, I just want to tell you guys I love you all and thank you so much for the love yeah. and support. And, and, and I let what you know I'm also a homeboy. Yes, second so D. Yes, second D. Tadi. No, I do not. Never not. Oh, I'm sending it to them, right? Please do. Please do. Where are you, where are you heading to? Uh, Dallas, Texas. Oh, okay. Yeah. Say hello to everyone yes. for me. I mean, you need to come by. You know, I will. to be nice. I will. See, I've had this visa for like almost three yeah. years now. Yeah. Yeah, I've never been. Yeah, you, you need to come. But I'll to, come. Come to down south Texas and you will love it. It's Thank so you. beautiful out there. Thank you. And uh, Thank you. I, can, I can't wait to host you in my house. Uh, you, know. you watch my videos, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, oh yeah, I do, I do, wow. I do, I do. So please do come by to I will. Texas. I will, and you will love it. I will, you will love it. Thank yes. you. Bring your family too. I will. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna let the guys know yeah. that you promised to come back. No, I will. <laughs> yeah. So this guy, I think this is actually the third time I'm seeing you. Yeah. And how many times have you met Miss Trudy? Town God finally landed safely in Berlin, Germany. I got my bag and uh, yeah, I need to go look for the ATM, get some cash and um, go get a taxi to my hotel. So yeah, I'm here. 
I don't know where the ATM is. I definitely need to look for one. So you know I couldn't get an ATM uh, machine to take the cash. Maybe there are ATMs, but I didn't know where it is. Then I came to the car and I'm like, can I use card for cash? They said, oh, you can also use card. I'm like, wow, nice. That's so cool, man. But let me tell you one thing that I, I really love about traveling in Europe. The fact that even though my visa is from Germany, but I got stamped in Amsterdam, which is not Germany, right? And at the end of the day, when you land in Germany, no one cares. No one cares about you. You just take your bag and get out of the airport. No one is there going to stamp your passport again to welcome you to uh, Germany. When you get stamped in Amsterdam, that's okay. Now you can move anywhere. And yeah, when I'm going back, I will not get. Uh, I might get stamped here or get stamped in uh, Amsterdam once again. So. Basically, I think this is one of the things that I feel like it's so cool whilst traveling in Europe um, and um, I wish our people can learn from this instead of all the time when we travel we just have to get business from each and every country knowing that the country is just 30 minutes flight away from the other. It doesn't make sense man. It doesn't make sense. We, we need to have free movement of people. and. The fact that I'm in Berlin and I'm talking about free movement of Africa is crazy because this is the exact same city that Africa was partitioned. So first assignment is to go and find where Africa was partitioned in uh, Berlin. I mean where the Berlin conference took place. So yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I, it's about time for me to go check it out to see exactly the same place that that movement went on without any single African. Sandy Mohammed. Hey, Sandy Mohammed. They can't video me another Charlie. Cool, man. So, first day in Berlin. I don't know if you guys know this guy, but I'm going to tell you more about him. <laughs> the time the time we did school there. No, I did hung. You know, hunger? My mommy, they sell only kinky. We, they don't get money anywhere. So, it be kinky only we get. So, morning, I did chop kinky. After you are the chop kinky, if you are the chop kinky. If you are tired of eating kinky and moko and shuto, you mash up. <laughs> if, if you think you are tired of that too, you know the, 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 the water around after they boil the kinky, mm. the water around yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that one too. Yeah, in that we call it pompodusu. Oh, okay. In two days. Okay. So I was just tired of kinky, man. Options. Yeah. Options. It's just tired. To, to the extent that, you know, when I came here, I told the guy, I hope you don't have kinky. I don't want. Because yeah. I chop kinky, I'm, yeah. I see kinky so far. I don't want. <laughs> then, we do school with Sani Mohammed. You know, in Mommy, they sell like, uh, watch, it. watch it. I'm like, wow. Watch it. You know, they, they, they add some fried fish to it, man. Yeah, exactly. You know, get well-laid and things. So I come and I'll be like, Sunny, be like you too. You day like me, no. Every day they chop watch it. I like why can't you watch it? Every day this guy go chop watch it. <laughs> no watch it, they chop every day. Why you don't want to answer? <laughs> no, for sure no, they chop watch it. Every day. Exactly. <laughs> so I came up with a plan, Charlie. Every day, eh? Yeah. Come with the watch it. Yeah. Make her come, come with, with my cook uh, my kinky. Yeah. So when we come and then we swap the food. Yeah. So I come, I say, Charlie, take the kinky, give me the watch. Yeah. So my mommy, you know, you don't know why I did take kinky goes. I go chop kinky for house before I go to school. But, but I, still I, still take, I still take kinky to go. It's for Sunny. <laughs> <laughs> you know. And Sunny will take the kinky and will give me watch. Sometimes I give you cocoa free, cocoa de cozy. The cocoa de cozy was bonus. This story made us who we are right now. Exactly, you know I mean? exactly. Yeah, passed through a lot. You know? Exactly. I mean, most, have, most have already passed through bad situation than ours. You know? Exactly. It's, you know, it's life. You understand? It's, life. Life. it's, it's just a stages. You know? Exactly. From A you go to B, B. you can't jump from A to Z. Exactly. You know what I mean? yeah, exactly. So, we've, we've come, we've come a long way. I mean, we get busy sometimes, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, like I always tell him, no matter what, I still know, say, I get friend called Mansa. Hey, hey, say Mansa. <laughs> call Sunny. Yeah. But 
sake of my job, it'd be hard. Like I come here in Berlin from morning to evening. Interview so I see come it'll call me self I do interview. I tell him say I do beg. I finish. Are you just wait for me? I feel like you wait for me like more than an hour. Mm. You know. But now I'm tired. I get back home, Charlie. Man for bed. See? Who's there? Where's that? We're trying to move around a little bit and uh, he wants to I mean hire a car, but this kind of car it's like a self-drive. So you rent, you ride, and you repeat. That's cool, man. I think I've done a video about this. Uh, one young man in Ghana who brought this whole idea of um, self-drive. Just rent it, drive in an hour, then you pay for it. If you want to go for three hours, you pay for it. If you want to keep the car for a day, you pay for it. So yeah, that is the same approach that we're going to... But I love that the cars in here, it's a different type of cars. You just... Does it mean different type of car, different prices? No, the same price. The same price? Uh, so he's trying to get this one, I hope. No one book it. So we have to go. Ooh. Cool. Ooh. I really love how Berlin is super green, man. I mean, uh, I think uh, this is my first time seeing. This city, this green. I think the last time I came, it was not. It was winter, so that's why I didn't see it that well. But look at that. It's so green. Man. Imagine I just arrived in Berlin and my guy wants me to eat African food, man. Charlie. Method Akun. Method Akun. How long? How long in, in Germany or Germany. in Germany? Yeah. Wow. Oh, let's say 1991, guys. Hey! So that was two years ago. I was not born. How? Let me order for my food, man. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Hey. This is a Ghana in Germany. Yes, sir. Yes, hey. sir. You see, Ghana in Berlin. Ghana in Berlin. Abuwa. Oh, yes, yes, yes. 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 Yeah, yeah. I'm also enjoying the feedback yes, so yes. far with the people We're that happy I'm seeing. You're here also. No, thank you, thank you. And one of the things that I really enjoy in here is the fact that you've included young people. That's the point. I think young people, diverse mm. people, I mean, if you look at the panel we just had, we had somebody from India, somebody yeah. from Indonesia, somebody from Africa on the panel, together with an American. Um, and I think that's, that was my life always, because I was doing the G20, mm. which has also been criticized for the last 10 years for Germany. But I like that working together, you know, globally with different cultures and different countries, and I think this is what we need more of. So uh, this is the day one of the conference, and we are we are just having uh, lunch. Oh wow, is it nice? Uh, oh, yeah. And he's like, hey, bro, I watch your videos. Hey, but for which country? I'm from Somalia. Somalia. Nice to see you. Let's see. Let's see. Good morning. Today is day two for the Berlin Global Dialogue. I have an interview with a, a South African Minister for Human Settlement. And uh, I'm super late. What am I? Is always late, by the way. But I, I love the fact that when I go to such event, I get an opportunity to meet incredible people across the whole world. I mean, I, I'm more focused on building network for the future. I'm more focusing on opening my mindset in the way I do things because my my goal in future is not just YouTube, it's bigger than YouTube. So I'm trying to see how the world operates. I'm trying to learn how the world works in their own way. So yeah, I mean, it, it, YouTube has actually given me the opportunity to 
I mean, go see the world, go see how the world works, and um, I really appreciate it, man. Really appreciate it because the kind of people like yesterday, I saw the chancellor, I, I met uh, the president of uh, International Bank of America, which is which is which is which was amazing, man. Oh my goodness, like, what am I? Let me know you are here. Ah, I'm not here yet, man. Jeez, I'm late. I think I need to stop recording and hurry up and just get to the location because I have an interview and I'm late. Nine o'clock. It's 8.34. <laughs> what a Maya. What? <laughs> the Ghana guy. <laughs> the Ghana guy in the taxi is like, ah, cross the road, let me knock you down. He was joking with me. But anyway, um, I have to. Got an embassy home. Oh. Mate. <laughs> oh goodness. He's saying that like I should go to the Ghana embassy in Berlin because when they pay for money they don't give them receipts. So I should go and expose them for them. My goodness, even in Germany. You wanna check him there? Yes. Ah, not so good. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy your ride to the event. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. Wow. I saw you at the traffic. I said, I know this guy from YouTube, man. Really? <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Good to see you, man. You're welcome. Why, are you based in Germany? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm from here. Oh, wow. But I'm in Nigeria, so. Oh. Well. Your people. Yeah, I, exactly. <laughs> you don't need to tell me. Yeah. So, let me just make a U turn. I hope. These people don't complain. You just came because of the event? Yeah, I'm actually one of the hosts. I have a I'm hosting an event this morning in there. Okay. I'm doing some of the interviews uh, for the dialogue. Okay. So I'm I have a program with one South African minister. Ah, okay. And I'm late. So I'm like, ah, I just love it when I walk in the morning. Yeah. yeah. How is life in Berlin? Life is good okay uh, berlin is getting more expensive oh because of uh it's a very interesting city okay corona caused everything and this wars in ukraine so this two stuff really hits us yeah. but like globally everything is expensive expensive now so maybe we'll have a short picture if you don't oh, like no, it. No, I don't. Mind. No, of course no. I don't mind. <laughs> Come on. About to get my makeup done. Yeah, I have makeup. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I did this. What you call her? <laughs> Good, huh? Yeah. Come on, my closet eyes. Mm. Yeah. You from from Berlin oder? No, from Ghana. From Ghana. Yeah. So yes, okay. It's okay now. Yes. Oh, wow. How do I look, man? Ha! Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> I just did a makeup. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, so it's our time. It's uh, almost I have like 15 minutes more for the interview to go. Hi. You're from Nigeria. Yeah. Kenya. Kenya. Habariago. Oh my goodness. Ooh. That's that's my in-law. Yeah. Oh my god. No, let me do, let me hug you on behalf of my wife, man. <laughs> Nice to Let see. Take a photo. Of course, why not? Thank you. Good. Wow. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, nice to meet you. This is Minister. Oh, honorable. Hi, Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'll be having a, a, a good conversation with you. Okay. I hope you're ready for me. Ten <laughs> minutes. I'm not going to take most of your time. No, that's fine. All right. Thank you. Okay. So All right. setting up where she's sitting. Um, just right there. Okay. I'm so sorry. The, the guys just left me. So let me just get ready. The minister is here, and I'll see you guys in a bit. It's really not easy, but one thing that I normally say whenever I meet African leaders like yourself, I'm like, he's been 
over 60 years since we had our independence. It's over 60 years since we had our freedom. But I mean, when you travel within Africa, it's, it's a major challenge. You don't think it's about time Africans start traveling within Africa freely, like the way probably you landed in Amsterdam and then no one, they checked you in Amsterdam and you got to uh, Berlin without no one checking in here. You don't think we need something like that in Africa? We do have in the Sadek region, for example, mm. actually ours, uh, the democracy came later. Mm. Other countries might have seen uh, 60 years, we not yet 30 years yeah. as a country in South Africa. But when you look at freedom of movement within mm. the Sadek region mm. and what Africa has been able to do is to segregate within the regions. Mm. So you have more better movement within the region, but not fully in terms of the entirety of the continent. That's why part of the work that we're doing in the continent around Agenda 20. 63 mm. and the AFCTC. So trading amongst African countries to improve and that would enable movement of goods and people within the continent. And that's, I, I, I do believe that it's not going to be easy, uh, but it will move. Remember, in terms of um, the conversations, even for example, you'd have mm. some of the people would feel when conversations such as de-dollarization yep. comes in, they see it as almost like an attack to the West, not seeing it as Africans as well trying to unite within themselves and finding common denominators. You can never have movement of people when your own currencies are not united. So it's the same thing. You look, you come to the European countries, there's a euro, mm. which makes it easier to trade within European countries yeah. and it uni unifies them. So movement of goods and people would have to go within with the currencies and the ability to be able to trade means that within your currencies, you've mm. got to be able to deal with it. When I go to Ghana, I find a different currency. Exactly. You come to South Africa, you find a different currency. You go to Nigeria, you find a different currency. And it makes it difficult in terms of those movements, closing down mm. and opening up of the borders. But the challenges as well, mm. sometimes we look at it in terms of security um, issues. You find that the insurgents of quite a number of things we would have seen South Africa recently got grey listing. Grey listing as a result that no, you are starting to have a lot of people who are within the ISIS military coming in. And because most of the time, if you start talking about movement of people and removing the borders, you'll see that that would be what is needed. But there is an inhibitor in the process. Mm. You allow for that movement, you have unwanted people, then you have some level of consequence in terms of your own economy being affected. Now you're back on the continent, yeah. and I know that um, you travel a lot within Africa. Yeah. And one of the things that I always want to speak about is free movement of Africans mm. within Africa, mm. free movement of goods within Africa. Mm -hmm. Do you also face the same challenges while traveling within Africa? Oh, my. There's one example. I, mm. I, I was in South Africa for many years, and then I had to go to Morocco every two weeks. You know how to get from South Africa to Morocco? Mm. You, you have to go to Dubai. You, you know this. Or you have to go to Paris. And then I'm like, these are two African countries. There's a history, but, but it's not just these two, right? I try to lead, go from Cote d'Ivoire to Nairobi. Mm. There's a direct flight, but it's not at the convenient time. So then you have to go to Addis Ababa. It's, it's difficult. So then when you talk about difficulty of moving people, mm. you can only imagine about difficulty of trade. Mm. We talk about intra-Africa trade, but it's easier to get goods from Ghana to Germany than from Ghana to, to Ivory Coast. You know what? I had early morning sessions. I just interviewed two people and uh, I'm leaving tomorrow to Brazil. So I'm trying to go back, pack my things, and then in the afternoon, I'll go out and vlog. But I just heard my name. Somebody shouted my name. What am I? He said, I'm coming back. So I, I know he's, he's definitely the one. He went to 10. He went to 10. <laughs> OK. <laughs> he went to 10. He's fucking. Look at him. Look at him. Like, see. She's in a hurry. <laughs> Thank you.
Mr. Woody Maya. Yeah. How you doing, man? I'm good. How about man, you? You're making us proud, man. Ah. God bless you, man. God bless, God bless you too, you. man. How you doing, man? Great. What's up, man? Great. Where are you from? Kenya. Mombasa. Kenya, Mombasa. Yeah, man. I'm from Ah, Habari yeah, Ako. Good to see you, yeah, man. man. What you doing, Berlin, man? I'm actually one of the hosts for yeah, the dialogue that is going on. So I just finished early morning session. I'm leaving tomorrow. Okay. So I'm like, let me just rush yeah, back, pack my things, I and like, then. I like your content. I like what you're doing, man. Thank you, man. Proud, man. Thank you. Yeah, preach the gospel, man. Preach, preach, preach. Oh, I love yeah, that. I love that. Proud, I love man. that. Yeah, you went to turn. Yeah, I, I turned. I saw you. I said, hey, this guy, man. This guy, man. Say hi, man. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay. I was just like, I love your outfit. Thank you, Mr. Maya. Thank you. Yeah. Classic Adana. Good to see you. Okay, again. what is people? Nice to see your. How do, how would I refer? How do annoying I, village boy. Your village. No, not annoying. You're very inspiring village boy. Ha, ah, no. They know I'm annoying. Your name yeah. is Trudy. Yeah, so. Yeah. <laughs> when I first. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tell them the story. Met Dr. Adana. She said, Are you. <laughs> what, are is you what is wife? What is wife? <laughs> I'm like, who's wife? I'm sorry. Yeah, exactly. I was like, I, but what I told you this too, right? Yeah, you Has told this thing me. Gone off? No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I told you because I don't know. At the time, the day that I saw you, there could only be one Trudy. There's only one. Uh, okay. <laughs> because you know, you know, I'll, I'll be here, right? I knew you were here. I said, when she came in, I said, Trudy, I was like, yeah, you what is wife? And I was about to give her a big hug. <laughs> As she goes, who is Wate? I was oh, like, like, excuse oh. me, do you not know Wate, the biggest African know? YouTube ah. creator? Nice one, Trudy. And good it's good that like, again, I, I, I'm yes. home and I'm saying Trudy, I come here, I still say Trudy. Oh, <laughs> That's interesting. Anyway, how have you enjoyed the Berlin Global Dialogue? Uh, so far, so good. Uh, interesting perspective. Uh, I just came out of the CEO's um, dialogue. Yeah. And uh, you know, I came up with an idea that I feel like doing it in December in Ghana, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, it's crazy. I'm man. inspired by their conversation. I'm telling you, I felt like, you know, I, I wanted to do something like Davos, okay. but I feel like it's going to be so big, bringing all the entrepreneurs together under one umbrella. But then with this dialogue, you can actually have four people on the table, let's say if it's realistic, realistic, if it's agriculture, agriculture, it's healthcare. if it's healthcare, it's healthcare. Then you sit like four of them on the table, ask them questions, go so that people will come and just listen to all these African entrepreneurs that uh, they admire. You know, I love I this just, idea. I just, I just got inspired. And I'm like, yeah, I just send it to my team, please. Can we make it happen in December? All day. I'm telling you. I'm coming. Please, I'm gonna invite you. What is peeps? Please make sure you subscribe to Adana's channel. House of Adana. Oh. <laughs> you change your name again? No. Has it been House of Adana all no, this time? No, it used to be exactly. Adana and David exactly. family. Exactly. Yeah, I kicked everybody out. Oh, it's wow. Me. <laughs> no, that's okay. Before I sign out, I just want to say thank you. It's a pleasure meeting you all. These are the guys behind the camera. <laughs> Thank you. And they've Thank been standing all this while, my Thank one and you. only makeup artist. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Whoa, the day has ended. It was absolutely amazing, the people that I met in here. And one thing that I, I can take out of this whole event is the fact that everyone in this room is talking about Africa. Everyone, all the sessions, everyone is talking about Africa but there are no Africans in the room. So this is what I'm gonna say, that it's about time Africans know that they are so valuable because see, the whole world depends on Africa. And this conference definitely proves the fact that the whole world depends on Africa because I'm in this conference and almost every session that you go to, there's no single session that you never hear the continent Africa in the room. Everyone wants to invest in Africa, everyone wants to go to Africa, but do Africans themselves know that the world or the global leaders are meeting, talking about them? Do Africans know this? And this is why I think meetings like this are very important for Africans to participate, you know? So I think for me, henceforth, I think I'll be going for most of this meeting just because of what I want to achieve and yeah see I think uh, all right can I say bye bye Trudy Cheers, bye. hi bye. 
All right, so I think my guy has been waiting for me for so long. <laughs> 